Hey everyone, this is an Alcohol Free Life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G. And if you could take a second, can you please hit the subscribe button? And don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I wanna talk about, I wanna talk about one of my favorite topics in sobriety, and that is feelings. Because my emotions, my feelings, were all over the place in early sobriety, and they stayed like that for many, many years. I used to always say to myself, there's two of me. There's me, and there's the way I feel. And these feelings would come up, and I'd have an anger outburst. I would go into depression. You know, I'd feel sad. I'd feel, you know, hurt all the time. That kind of thing. It kind of ran my life. And I used to hate it. I really did. And I'd go to 12-step programs and I'd work on myself. I'd share my experience with people and they'd tell me some things to do, some tips what to do. You know, if you're gonna feel angry, Terry, just step back and don't give into it. Just think before you talk. They, they taught me techniques how to do it. They, you know, showed me different ways. I, I read self-help books. I read spirituality books, you name it. I did everything I could to sort of get an emotional well-being or emotional intelligence to say the least or emotional sobriety, whatever you want to call it. And I failed, I failed terribly at it. I really did. It caused a lot of issues in my life. And if you're experiencing that, I just want to say one thing. You are not alone. And the thing that I did would help me with my emotions is that I had to go back in my past and I had to go to the core of the issues. I really did. 12 step programs and like-minded people and you know, good hearted people would, would advise me. And I tried to teach myself techniques and it didn't work. It really didn't work. It, it helped, I shouldn't say it didn't work, it helped sort of. But the true miracle, the, the true freedom of my, my emotions from stop controlling me was when I went into counseling and I was willing to get to the core of the issue. And that is the most important thing I need to tell you in this video. If you are having problems with your feelings and you don't find that 12 step programs or well-intentioned techniques or friends around your sponsors or girlfriends, whoever it is, are telling you what to do and it's not working, a really great cognitive counselor can help you with those issues. They really, really can. Because we need to go back and talk about the core issues of those feelings. What's causing us to be so angry? What's causing us to feel so much pain and feel so much hurt and feel so much guilt? Because a lot of times we cannot find ourselves, we cannot find our way out of it. And we need other people to help us. Don't let your feelings run your life. Because if they are running your life, you are going to have a terrible life. You really are. You're going to have a hard time in your life. Guarantee it. Because you know why? Because I did. I had a terrible time. But I went to counseling. I got to the core of the issue. I got to the root of the problem. And I'm not so moody. I can think about my feelings in a reasonable way before I respond. It's not perfect some days, but it's a hell of a lot better. My relationships at work are better. My friendships are better. My, my intimate relationships are better. My relationships with my family are better because my emotions, I'm not so explosive. I'm not so hurting all the time. When people say things to me, I'm, I'm not so sensitive any, all the time. I worked out the issues that I had when it came to my feelings. I worked out the unresolved pain, the unresolved shame, the unresolved guilt, the unresolved anger that I had towards the world and people around me. So that's what you need to do. You want to be a better person? You need to work at being a better person. You want to get your feelings under control? You need to work at it. You need to reach out, become vulnerable, talk to somebody who is a professional therapist and guarantee it, you will feel better. I used to walk out of those therapy office like I was walking on cloud nine, 
Believe it or not, your sobriety will improve, everything will improve in your life, and you'll just feel 100% better about yourself and the world around you. Without sobriety, I would never have been able to do that. I'm still sober to this day. I've worked really hard of helping myself be a better person for myself and the world around me. But I needed to reach out and work on the core issues, become vulnerable, and get some help and get some direction when it comes to my feelings. Because I'll say it one more time. If your feelings are running your life, good luck. You will have a really, really shitty life. Guarantee it, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? And can you take another second? And can you please hit that like button, okay? Thanks a lot for stopping by. Just remember, we're all in this together. And take it one day at a time. Ciao for now. God bless over and out. And I hope the lighting's okay for this video. See you later. See you next week.